Hey everyone, it's been a busy week around here. I was in the Illinois State Capitol City earlier this week speaking with a great group of courageous individuals who are protecting life in the midst of an abortion tourism disaster. And I've been speaking with many of you about the abortion ballot issues rising up in so many states around the country. And some of my efforts this week have been looking more closely um, into what's going on in Florida, staying uh, connected with that issue specifically, so stay tuned for some updates on them soon. In Missouri, no new news to report, so let's talk about something fun. Let's talk about games, like the ones abortion advocates play with words. Let's talk about how the words, terms, phrases that we traditionally hold on to as American values are being redefined and how that affects things like ballot language. So here's a blatant example of how they're doing this very thing, confusing words. They did it right here in our video comments a couple weeks ago. Someone in the comments of one of these videos tried desperately to argue that abortion and miscarriage are the same thing, saying that essentially there's no difference between these two terms. Now I responded with some definitions from the Oxford Dictionary, copied and pasted, then they went on to deny them as being accurate and continued on their blind pursuit of their habit of saying a lie enough times that they convince themselves and others oftentimes who are watching that this is a fact. Spoiler alert, to steal a remarkable quote, you're entitled to your own opinions but not your own facts. And they're confusing words left and right to create confusion in people's minds because then it's easier for us as humans to mentally check out. We think, I don't really understand this issue, so it's better to err on the side of caution and listen to those who obviously know more than I do about it. Friends, this is their strategy. They're trying to wear us down. We have to wake up. Right now, they're trying to hijack the word freedom. They're using it, and their term, Reproductive Freedom Act. We are being played. Abortion isn't freedom. It's just not. It's time we start making that clear. Those words are not interchangeable. The truth is, that's just how the abortion industry has manipulated so many of us who value the incredible word freedom to buy into what they're selling at a profit, abortions. Now, you might not believe me, but take it from their own mouth. A Democratic pollster, Angela Kufler, was quoted recently as saying, it's the values language that allows us to win by such big margins. And she was referring to the state constitutional amendment ballot issues regarding abortion that are taking place around the country. Friends, Again, we're being played by big abortion. Wake up before more of our values are stripped by their messaging tactics. They're using our language that we value most to try to manipulate us. And they don't stop taking either. Remember when they used to say that we want abortions to be safe, legal, and rare? Yeah, further proving this agenda will stop at nothing to destroy our American values. Don't be fooled by a narrative engage in critical thinking, love people well, and value freedom and life.